Hello guys. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a product I'm pretty excited about. It's the Grip 6 Belt by the Grip 6 Belt Company. And they are made in the USA, guaranteed for life. And uh, I've had, let's see, I got three belts and two extra buckles. I'll tell you what, I'm totally jazzed about this belt. I feel it's the last one I'll ever buy. And I have a lot of belts, leather, occidental leather belt, which I like, but it's heavy and it's bulky. I've had a belt, I, uh, Western style belt that I, I like to wear, but it again, it's breaking down and it's heavy and bulky. Uh, so I decided to try this out. So <laughs> these belts are awesome. I've worn them for a couple weeks now. Comes in simple packaging and it's the simplest belt. I got a blue color belt, purple, orange, and green. And yeah. so here's the orange one, orange and brown, or I think they call it mocha. So I got the blue one, the orange one. I got the blue one with the black belt on it right now. I have. pull it out it's got this green one moss color I think they call it really cool color um, so there I've got the orange I've got the uh, moss I've got the blue purple and this one here is black yeah this one's the black one so I've worn the blue and the purple one for uh, like I said a couple weeks now so like I said I got this black one as well it's not the carbon fiber one uh, it has a grip six USA made logo on there and that's embedded so I got a 20% discount code on it and uh, both times so I got these fairly inexpensively how these work they're real simple i have my purple one on right now and they're great if you're wondering how do they work and do they hold up yes i carry my knife on me all the time it gives me no issues as far as being pulled down or uh seem like too much weight and flopping the belt over so i i carry that on me constantly and it, i hardly notice it at all well if this one's a nice thin knife as it is se3 these work real simple they do not come apart so that's the problem I've always had was I fluctuate in weight. I have all my life pretty much, I'm, I'm not overweight, but if I eat something, I tend to see it in my belly and feel it. So sometimes a belt in the morning won't fit right or in the afternoon won't fit right from the loops or from the holes. This is not a problem anymore. So this belt comes off, it goes in the front of the belt. So you don't see this strap in the front anymore it goes behind you and it comes off and once it's on it does not well that wasn't a great demonstration because of the angle was it <laughs> okay so once it's on that wasn't good because I'm pulling it here and it's it's nothing being held but and I let go of it here so once it's on it's against your waist this belt is not coming off of you it doesn't slip all day long I'm constantly on the move I'm uh constantly remodeling or doing some construction or I'm working around my property this belt does not move so after I've eaten lunch if I've eaten a big lunch I can simply lift up on this belt and adjust it if I'm in the morning I can put it as tight as I want and it will not go it will not move it will not go so <clears throat> that is a great belt I feel like I will never have to buy another belt in my whole life I'm Hoping that they'll one day make an orange belt strap and a purple belt strap. Purple's my favorite color. So this, how this works is basically it's just, it's a strap, okay? It's got an end on it that I think they fused onto there, this little plastic piece here. They fused it on so when you slide it through your buckle, which has got a slight curve to it, nothing major, 
And again, it's got the little Grip 6 logo on the back. This will go in to your belt, just like this. You'll push it through, push it through the back end of it. And it'll lock into place there. Then when you go to pull it around, you again, you come through the front, just like this. And that belt locks in. I think they call it a beaver grip uh, for some reason, but whatever, it doesn't move. It doesn't come off you, it doesn't slip. And the great thing is it's constantly adjustable and lifetime warranty. How can you beat that? I've gone on Facebook, I'm a, I like their page. And whenever somebody says, hey, my belt has got a problem. Um, I got a scratch on it even, which isn't even their fault. They say, send us a photo and we'll send you a new one. What a great company. These guys are with it. They respond quickly, they send the belt out quick. Um, I dealt with a company on the off note called Ladder 34 recently. Their belts are terrible. Their customer service is terrible. And getting a refund from them was like pulling teeth. I had to actually go on social media and complain on their page. I don't like doing that. I'm not a fan of doing that stuff. So it was the only way I could seem to get through to them. I sent them messages on Facebook Messenger. I sent them messages on their Facebook page. I sent them emails. I've called them and they just didn't want to give me my money back. So I ended up having to go on and last resort was go on social media on their site and complain about their service and their belt. Their belt slipped. It's again, ladder 34 belt. Sorry, it's an off note, but I, I just can't let anybody buy that belt without me telling them don't do it. Back to these belts. Again, I'm wearing the purple one right now. As easy as it is to get off, it doesn't come loose, but when you just lift this, and that's why it slipped earlier, I had the wrong angle on it. You just lift your buckle up at a slight angle and you pull the strap and it comes off just as simple as that. I watched a video of a fella he said that you know he gets indentations in his belt like this and of course always the back of your belt will tend to dip in from your belt loop what he does is he flips his he said he flips his about every week or month or something of that nature so all he does is take it like this and flip it around this way so that the belt can now dent the other way and this can go uh, make new creases so it's constantly you're not gonna have a forever indentation if you're if you're uh, trading it out it's a real simple easy belt this purple is a really pretty purple color um, and this is the navy blue belt strap they're interchangeable with uh, all the belts kind of seem to have picked some cool colors to have gone together really well this is the mocha and the purple sorry about the lighting if it's not working great here there we go, mocha and purple, black and purple, or black and blue, the black and orange. You got this green. You got all these choices, and they have more choices on their website. Uh, again, I'm looking forward to possibly an orange strap or a purple strap or both. I would buy those up in a second. They've got a bunch of different series, a Craftsman series. They've got... Um, carbon fiber series so that they're doing all these different choices which are excellent so like I said just as simple as this is to put on you just slide it through one of the holes bring that belt this way it stops on that attached piece loop your belt around come up through the front push it through on your waist and that bad boy is on there Anyway, I'm a fan. I feel like this is a belt for life. Uh, how can it not be when they guarantee it for life? And I, I'm, I think they're an up and coming company that aren't gonna go anywhere anytime soon. They also uh, represent disc golf. They have some disc golf series belts, uh, the buckles that are pretty cool. I'm a disc golfer myself and I was pretty stoked to have seen that. I'm not sure that I'd, I'd wear it, but it's neat for people who who like disc golf a lot and I do but I you know I'm kind of into the just the straight A um, plain deals they have flag series belts which have like a Canada belt they also have I think a Texas and a 
another state belt. So it's kind of neat that they have these different options for different people. A golf series belt, they have them for women and children. Um, the women's and children's are a little less than the men's. I think these are $35 with the buckle and the belt. Uh, the buckle them itself is 20 and if you want to just buy straps, I believe they're 15 Free shipping over 50 bucks. I'm not paid by them. I'm not, they, they haven't sent me anything for free. If they do, I won't deny it uh, and I won't, you know, send it back. I'd love for them to send me a few different belts and I'm stoked on trying the carbon fiber thing, but right now it's just not an option for me. But these Grip 6 belts, I can't say enough about them and the, the colors are beautiful. The belt is amazing. Uh, I probably rambled on about them a lot, but man, what a cool, cool deal. Easy packaging, environmentally friendly, I believe. If, you know, there's no plastic in it. Uh, cool package. I can use these for fittings and stuff like that now, or to keep my belts in. They also have a hanger, which I want to get eventually. I'd love to have their hanger because now I've got all these buckles and belts, and I didn't buy a hanger. They got some cool shirts on their website, which I noticed were really neat so go on their website check out their stuff i like to watch their their how to's and whatnot and sizing let me talk about that i'm a size 34 on my waist and i went ahead with the 36 um belt it, it's perfect for me uh the 34 might have been a bit short but the cool thing is if you order large they have a how-to video where you can cut the end and you just fray it with a lighter um so if you if you happen to order if you're 34 and you happen to order 36 and it's just a little too big you can always snip that that end and and cut it and it, it'll just probably look just how they did it at the factory i'm sure pretty similar um so there you go that's the grip six deal right there i'm going to probably do a couple more videos on these um here and there but uh, i'm a fan i'm a fan for life on these bad boys i'm sure the way they designed it, there's something about this design and just how much curvature is in here that holds this belt tight, like a shark grip or as they say, a beaver grip, I believe it is. Thanks for watching. I'm Vinny. Uh, I hope you like my videos. If you do, like them, subscribe to my channel. I upload as I can, as I have time. Uh, and I'm, I said at one point I was going to do a video on my SE3 knife and my hedge, hedgehog leatherwork sheath. And I will get to that if anybody's interested or was wondering what happened to that. I'm, I'm on my way to doing it. I just haven't had a chance. And I got the Grip 6 deal in. And not that I don't love my SE3 knife and my Hedgehog Leatherwork sheath. I had to talk about the Grip 6 product. So thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe. I'm out.